I have made a lot of videos about awful Roblox updates, but this one takes the cake. The amazing blocky game that we all know and love is spiraling downhill without us even realizing it. You're probably extremely confused, you're probably nervous now, and the things I'm about to show you will simply shock you. In the past, Roblox has had a lot of trouble listening to the community. After all, the community is what makes a game popular. So the developers of a game like Roblox should listen to the community. But unfortunately today, that is the exact opposite of what they've done. I've never said this before, but now I'm really worried about the future of Roblox. What on earth am I even talking about? What is Roblox doing that's so bad? Because after all, it's the biggest game of all time. But did Roblox just release an update that is going to single-handedly destroy the game as we once knew it? I'm sure everybody watching this video is super confused. Nick, what are you talking about? Buckle up because this is a crazy video. Okay, Nick Army, starting off, I'm on my Roblox profile and everything looks the exact same, right? Everything looks completely fine. Nick, what are you talking about? How on earth is Roblox ruined as we once knew it? Before we talk about the terrible update, let's talk about the not so terrible update, but the still pretty bad update. Because if you look at my Roblox profile right now, or maybe I go to the Discover page, or maybe I go to the Marketplace, something is very different that no one is talking about. Or maybe I go to the Robux page. Nick, what is going on? Or maybe I go to the home page. What is happening? What is going on? This is only the beginning, and obviously not many people are going to notice this, but I've been playing this game since 2008, and let me tell you, Nick Army, I pick up on these things extremely quickly. But why don't we just first talk about maybe something good? I'm on the homepage right now, and this is pretty new, the Recommended For You page. You get to see a bunch of games, and the list goes on forever. It used to be recently played, but now here's a bunch of Roblox games that I probably will like. And AI is generating all of these games based on what I've played before, which is pretty cool. But obviously this isn't a very, very brand new update, but for those of you who haven't heard about this, yeah, so that's a brand new thing, kind of. But do you see what I see? Ladies and gentlemen, discover, marketplace, create Robux. The font is thinner. The font, the font is like, it looks awful. I don't know what it is. Now, obviously this doesn't really matter much. This is not the terrible update that I'm about to explain to you guys about that could single-handedly destroy Roblox as we once knew it. And I'm not even lying, but yeah. I'm just not a fan of this brand new font. Comment down below your thoughts. Obviously that was kind of just a joke, but check this out. We all know about Roblox UGC. For example, an item right here that has a swear word right in front of it and Roblox isn't even taking it down. I mean, I guess I'm gonna keep it on this video too because if Roblox allows it, I should allow it because everyone is being exposed to this. Well, there was a brand new Roblox update. I've been gone from Roblox for a few days and let's just say Roblox released a dumpster fire of an update. Now, if I go to the marketplace and we scroll down, obviously we all know that Roblox UGC is a thing. And what Roblox UGC is, for example, I can go to this Dominus right here. There are literally thousands of Roblox Dominuses that are by Roblox UGC creators. And basically how it worked is you would have to be accepted into the UGC program. It was kind of like a private group essentially. And whoever was in the UGC program could upload these items and it was super exclusive. Now Roblox had to trust these people to make good items that don't violate the terms of service. They don't have items that are knockoffs of other items. For example, every single one of these Dominuses. Now, Nick Army, obviously we all know that this already fully got out of hand. There were a few Dominus knockoffs a few months ago. Roblox removed them. Then there started to become more and more and more. For example, if I go to search and I type in Dominus on Marketplace, there's literally thousands of Roblox Dominuses now. There is no stopping it. I mean, look at this. This is literally a knockoff of a one trillion Robux item, the exact same name, and Roblox doesn't even care. Roblox doesn't even take it down. But this is not the bad thing that I want to talk about. Because obviously, this has been going on for months, if not even a year or so. What is going on, Nick Army? Now, it all starts here. Today, Roblox is making it easier for anyone to create on Marketplace. This will allow creators and brands to connect with their audiences by offering a more diverse connection of avatars, 
clothing and accessories and let me tell you people are mad and these are probably the worst updates ever okay so we're on the blog post right now and for those of you who obviously don't want to read this entire message it's basically saying that anyone can now make ugc items and we all know about the ugc program that's user generated content so basically back in the day only roblox the account roblox itself would make hats shirts or not shirts but bases gear all of that and in 2021 roblox made it so one group of creators of super trusted creators were able to make content and it kind of gave roblox a break from being able to having to make all of the hats and stuff like that and it kind of was awful but this is 10 times more awful. Let me explain. Yeah, Roblox decided to take it a step further and release public UGC. What does public UGC mean? That means that anyone and their grandma or their son or their donkey can literally make a UGC item. That means you guys watching this video, you can make a Roblox hat. You can make a Roblox face. You can literally make anything. I mean, this isn't bad, right? But if you want to, you could just make a brand new Roblox account apparently, upload the worst item possible, and Roblox probably won't even take it down. But Nick, these items aren't that bad, right? You're just overreacting. I'm about to show you some of the most inappropriate Roblox items out there. Now, be warned, okay? If you're a parent watching this video or just listening in the corner, don't worry if it's anything really bad. I will censor it out, but... This is what's on the Roblox platform. I'm about to show you items, hidden items, because obviously these from the beginning, they don't really look too bad. I mean, you see a baby, a big monkey in a suit. It doesn't look too, too bad. It seems pretty tame, right? But what about items that aren't directly on the catalog? Items that people are making, items that are private, and items that are literally making kids horrified and roblox definitely knows about it but they're literally not even doing anything about it in fact releasing public ugc is probably the worst decision roblox has made since removing i don't know tickets guests i don't know man fake core blocks r15 only ugc public was a bad idea let's go ahead and buy this okay so apparently this item right here if you put it on you get literally no leg it's basically fake core blocks for 100 robux now let's go to this profile right now and the owner of this ugc group is literally some random dude with four friends seven followers one following he is definitely not allowed to be inside of ugc and look at this he literally has core blocks but he doesn't actually have it let's go ahead and try this out let's go ahead and see if this is real core blocks is supposed to be like thirty-one thousand robux and now you can get it for a hundred let's find out and then what makes things worse if you go to the description it says roblox please don't delete it all right well let's buy it let's buy all right there we go we now have it and now we go to the pants apparently we need these pants as well but as you can see what's going on is this is currently not for sale whoever this guy is he wanted to have core blocks for free and he's not allowing it for anyone else but basically anyone can do this this is basically what's going on if it's public ugc anyone can just make any roblox item they want and then not put it to the public roblox moderation probably won't see it and then they can just make the worst items possible but obviously we just got legless all we have to do let's see if this works without it all we're gonna do is go to our scale we want to go to r15 and then we want to turn on legless let's see what happens if it's re oh my gosh what guys we now don't have a leg i don't believe it just like that that was a hundred robux obviously yes this is cool that we just got it for a hundred robux but also we got it for a hundred robux it should be thirty-one thousand robux to do this that is the issue but these roblox ugc items are only getting worse nick army but that's obviously not bad it's not inappropriate now let's talk about inappropriate stuff Next up on our public UGC tour, we have the head of a NSFW version of the Foxy character from Five Nights at Freddy's. Now you're probably listening to this, you're like, oh, Five Nights at Freddy's, what's wrong with Five Nights at Freddy's? And what is NSFW? Well, look at this picture. It's just a head of a Five Nights at Freddy's character. That doesn't look bad, right? Well, let me just give you guys a little bit of a lesson. NSFW means not safe for work. What that basically means is it's inappropriate stuff that should not be in the workplace or not be on roblox.com. 
and you look up this character on Google, yeah, that's basically all I have to show you guys. And someone uploaded this to Roblox, but it only gets worse. It gets so much worse. Let's continue. Pause for a second, because while looking at these awful, inappropriate items that I'm about to show you, I'm on my Roblox messages, right? Because I keep getting a ton of notifications, and I look and I see I'm getting spammed for hundreds of pages by this guy. What is going on? Greetings, Nicholas. I am unauthorized by Reds, and I am the leader of the Reds. I'm working with unauthorized bypasser. We all remember this guy, and we are targeting you. You are not safe. You will be hacked on May 18th. May 18th is literally my birthday. What is going on? And what is on this guy's profile? What is happening? Greetings, Nick Nicholas. I am unauthorized by Reds. We would like to inform you that danger is ahead. You have no escape. Unauthorized by Red's timer. Hidden hangout. Base. What is going on, dude? Okay, we're in the game right now from this hacker. What is going on, dude? It is so dark. I could barely see. There's like some sort of grave. Okay, I'm leaving this game. I'm done with this game. Literally, this is going on for pages upon pages upon pages. Now, I'm about to show you guys something 10 times worse. Something that got someone banned for a day. Obviously, you know, fake core blocks and stuff like that. That's not going to get you banned, I'm sure, because Roblox doesn't actually care. But this person got banned for a day and you're probably nervous now. You're probably wondering, okay, if I make a UGC item, how do I make sure I don't get banned? Well, let me just tell you that Roblox banning this guy for one day is literally a gift. This guy should have gotten banned forever on the spot. And this is only part of the reason why Roblox UGC is just so bad, especially for the public. Now, here it says Roblox does not permit bullying or harassment towards community members. As you can see, it has, says harassment and it says get lur. You're probably wondering what on earth that is. And I'm going to have to censor out this image right now, ladies and gentlemen. Now we have blank face bypass using a mountain scenery. If you can't see it, try looking from a further distance. Basically, this is an extremely famous if you guys don't already know dictator from the 1940s or actually the 1930s and it resulted in many many people being wiped away from the earth let's just put it that way An extremely extremely serious topic that many people out there are very sensitive about and this guy just decided to upload him with a mountain scenery and then the roblox by it, it just basically bypassed the tos they didn't catch it and they only got banned for one day. This is serious. They should be, be they, they should literally be banned for life. And obviously if they're banned for a day, it's someone, just some troll, they're gonna come back. They're gonna do it again. They find it funny. So what is going on, Roblox? And these UGC items are only getting worse. I'm about to show you more and more. It's actually shocking. Watch this. Okay. You are looking at my screen right now. <laughs> and you are seeing this and I know, I know, you probably have many, many questions. We just went from a very sensitive topic to this. Now you're probably wondering what on earth this is and why does this look old? Because you can see the studs are round. If you guys don't already know, years and years ago, probably 15 years ago, there was a very famous Roblox player, the most famous Roblox player in the world at the time. All I'm gonna do is go past all of these terrible items and I'm gonna type in the word domino and the word crown. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of domino crowns, but the most expensive one is this for a hundred million Robux. Just kidding, that's actually a hundred trillion. And as you can see, it was 2007. You entered inside of a contest. You were able to win this domino crown if you won. And one really famous guy, Flesk Jurda, won the domino crown. And obviously, if he wasn't terminated on Roblox, he would still have this to the day. He would still, he would literally have a hundred trillion Robux worth of value. And he'd be rich. He would have a ton of money. But basically, when he, when he first joined Roblox in like 2006 or something, he uploaded this. And it it ended up getting him banned two years later in 2008. I believe that's exactly what had happened. Well, let's just say that this model has come back for UGC. I don't know if I'm supposed to censor this, but someone literally 
uploaded the exact same thing but with UGC. This is ridiculous. Okay, so his name is right here and we're gonna be looking up this item. Don't make fun of me for looking up the item. I am doing this for you guys to show how bad it is. Okay, all we're gonna do is copy his name. We're gonna go to people and I just have a weird feeling that the item is not banned. Okay. Hello there, my name is Seabass and I'm a UGC creator, artist, and 3D modeler. It sounds so normal. It sounds so innocent. Um, I'm looking and okay, it looks like it is completely deleted, but we can go to the ID of the item itself and yeah, it's completely deleted. So good job from Roblox, but why is this guy not terminated from the game? If Let's Jerta in 2007 got terminated, shouldn't this guy also get terminated? I don't know. It's really weird to me, but it only continues. Public UGC is already getting good. This is Lonnie, one of the richest Roblox players and one of my friends. And as you can see, we have one Valkyrie, we have two Valkyrie, we have literally Clockworks headphones, which is millions of Robux, and we have a fourth Valkyrie. And what these people are doing, they're not even selling them, they're just making them for themselves, they're retexturing them, and they're getting them for free. It gets even worse over and over again. Found this a bit ago. Headless Horseman Recolor. You will need to wear or own headless body slightly bigger and more round okay so he's literally he's selling oh my gosh he's literally selling a headless horseman body as well and then you could basically get it for free you don't have a head anymore let's see how much this costs okay this is getting worse and worse core blocks death speaker 60 robux it's right there what is on this guy's page okay orange recolor i'm gonna buy this now and now let's go to the second one Oh my gosh, guys, look how many there are. You can get red, you can get white, blue, yellow, orange, yellow, blue. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go to this guy's page. This is actually insanity. And look at his store. This is probably the craziest thing I have ever seen since sliced bread. Oh my gosh. Pink core blocks recolor. You can literally buy all these. We have, I think, Minecraft. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. This is like, this is like copyright infringement now. This is getting worse and worse. I can't believe what is happening. I can't believe what I am looking at right now. 